Hey, my beautiful Capricorns, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I'm so happy to have all of you here. And those of you that are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Rhea and I do these readings every week. This is a special reading because we're going to talk about what you can expect in 2023. So my friends, I've got all my decks here. I've got three actually, two Oracle decks and my regular Tarot of the Abyss. And we're going to find out with the first deck, which is my Oracle card deck, what the overall energy for 2023 is for you. Then I'm going to pull five cards from my Tarot of the Abyss. And then I'm going to pull one card as a confirmation at the very end. And this is my deck that I use um, in personal reading. It's very accurate for, accurate for me. And I can't wait to pull this card at the very end just to see how it ties in the whole reading for all of you. All right, so we're going to shuffle these cards really quick here and figure out what that theme is for you for 2023, my friends. Now, if you're looking for a personal reading with me, my information is in the description box below. And this is a general reading for all you Capricorns. It may not resonate for everyone, so I do please ask that you take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, my beautiful Capricorns let's see what the theme for 2023 is for all of you hope is what we are getting better days are ahead my friends my beautiful Capricorns look at that what a beautiful beautiful card to receive here let me read this for you don't give up this card is a sign that your wishes and prayers have been heard you have not been forgotten or abandoned Things will get better. So those of you that have been wondering what is going on, why are things not working out, why is your life the way it is, guess what? Your prayers have not been missed, my friends. This is a confirmation here. Look at that. You're getting a confirmation already at the beginning of this reading. So your overall theme is to have hope my friends, to have that faith, to believe in what it is that you truly desire in your life and to ask for it from the universe. And those of you that have asked know that your wishes will be granted this coming year, okay? To remain in that positive um, mindset that your wishes will be granted, okay? Don't uh, doubt that feeling of the universe not hearing you. The universe has heard you, okay? Your wishes will be granted. All you need to do now, my friends, what you need to do as far as action steps is plant those seeds, okay? And then watch them grow this year. This year is going to be beautiful. It's going to be abundant. There's going to be so much success for you, okay? You have to remain in that positive mindset, Okay, no matter what is going on in your life right now, know that the universe has heard you and this coming year is all about you reaping what you sow. All right, so put your plans into action, my friends. Don't be afraid. Whatever limiting beliefs you have, whatever is stopping you, whatever is hindering you, knock those things out of your way now because you have a confirmation from the universe that it has heard you and your wishes will be granted. So look at this, read it yourself. All right. And I'm going to read it for you one more time. Just because I feel a that some of you do need to hear this. Better days are ahead, Capricorn. Have hope. All right. Don't give up. This card is a sign that your wishes and prayers have been heard. You have not been forgotten or abandoned. Things will get better. All right, that is your overall theme. And look at how beautiful this card is. Just look at it. The colors, the feeling, the energy it's giving out. I just feel it's just a beautiful card and it's a beautiful message for some of you, especially if you need to hear that right now. I'm going to pull some more cards and we're going to see what, what your year is going to entail as far as career, money, life in general, relationships, right? We're going to see what that's going to be like for you in 2023. All right, spirit guides, let us know what it is that Capricorns all need to know this coming year. I've already got a good feeling because we've got the hope card and I feel, you know, if you believe in yourself, if you trust the universe, things are going to change for you in a huge way, Capricorn. So have that faith. Believe in the universe. Believe and trust that things will work out no matter what. 
okay? Life isn't without its struggles. You just have to learn how to manage them and how to overcome them. Okay, we've already got one card jumping out at us. That is the hangman. All right. We are getting the queen of pentacles. We're getting the awakening. Um, so we've got the hangman in reverse, the awakening in reverse. Um, we've got the knight of pentacles in reverse. And we are getting the knight of wands as well. Okay, so let's uh, just move all this out of the way here. Getting the hang one in reverse. And okay. We're going to start with this card. The hang one. So this came out like this in reverse. All right, so I'm just going to flip it over. We all know it's in reverse, right? So here I feel for some of you, there needs to be a breaking of old patterns, okay? And really looking at your life through a different perspective. I feel for some of you, you've got this tunnel vision or you've got your focused, um, <clears throat> focusing your in your life through almost... Um, just a, one lens and not looking at the overall bigger picture, like through an eagle's eye perspective, right? And spirit guides really want you to learn how to look through a different perspective, look through a different lens at your life at this time. And to, um, especially if you're, um, stagnant if you're in a stagnant energy it's almost like you're kind of wanting things you have this desire inside yourself and I feel better days are ahead also coming up you're there's that hope there's that feeling and the universe confirming that is it has heard your prayers but I feel with the hanged one in reverse there's almost like this resistance of um or fear around something that is not allowing you to push yourself forward okay so we still have a few weeks before january rolls around and i know that a lot of us start making new year's resolutions of the things we want to change coming come january the first i feel for a lot of you you need to start focusing on making those changes in your life slowly now in this moment before january first rolls around I mean, going into January, this is a learning process, right? Next year is all about the changes that you're, are going to happen and the ch changes you're going to make in your life and the uh, rewards and the um, wishes that are going to be granted, okay? But that is all going to take some work here, okay, my friends? And I feel for some of you to look through a different light and to see where you're currently at right now and what is what are the changes that you're making now that are going to affect how next year is going to unfold for you. Okay, that is what I'm getting here with the hanged one in reverse, okay? Um, again, I'm getting, so the hanged one, we're getting queen of pentacles, we're getting the awakening knight of pentacles in reverse and knight of wands. Um, let's see here. Sorry, I wish I had a screen where I can just show my card. So maybe what I'm going to do in January, 2023 for myself is I'm going to get my husband to set up my, um, visuals for all of you to see maybe on the screen um, my cards as well. He's been saying that he will set that up for me and I'm kind of being resistant. I need to look through a different perspective and take my own advice, <laughs> right? So I do feel for some of you um, to look at life in a different light, okay? I feel for some of you there's almost like this tunnel vision and to broaden or to open that up a little bit to look at the bigger picture um, on things that you need to change in your life. I feel there's stagnation there. Um, there's like patterns that you have that you need to um, cut out of your life, like old patterns that aren't working for you. And if you remain in that same energy, nothing's going to change until you change something in your life. And I feel here, it's um, this repeating of old patterns um, and being resistant to change coming in. I feel the universe is sending you um, signs. They're kind of giving you you know, this, these thoughts about what it is that you need to change, but I feel you're kind of stalling. 
I don't know what the stalling is, why you're stalling, why you're being resistant to this. But I feel the sooner you release this energy and allow yourself to make those small changes day by day um, even if it's you know this week I'm gonna change this next week I'm gonna add another change to my list I feel this is gonna help you in a huge way to enter this new chapter in your life on a really positive note because you'll already be in that um, <clears throat> you're, you're putting yourself in that uh, system of change right where things are gonna start to snowball and start to move in a positive direction so my goal here everyone is to help you understand through this tarot reading what it is that you need to do in order to move forward and to build that beautiful life for yourself right um, and you know, for for some of you, I feel that that there is a lot of letting go to do. There's a lot of, um, you know, breaking of old patterns, getting yourself unstuck from um, repetitive behaviors or habits that you have that need to now be set aside because they're not working for you, right? They're keeping you in the same place. And sometimes releasing these old patterns or habits are uncomfortable. And of course, that's a natural process. But once you start repeating new, putting new habits in place, better habits, and releasing old um, negative habits, you'll, you'll get into that cycle of building new habits, but it takes time, right? So you need to allow yourself to build that and really get into that rhythm of the new and, and you know, doing that now and getting into that rhythm and ha allowing that to ease in into the new year will help in a really big way. <clears throat> I've been sick for a couple of days, so I'm still, I'm feeling not the best and uh, my ears are plugged so that does not help so when i'm talking I, i'm hearing this echoing all right so we've got the queen of pentacles coming in here as well so you take a look this woman is you know coming into this place where she's opening this treasure box for herself okay and she's come a long distance she's come a far way to uh, open this box and she's finally here she's pulling out the beautiful um, rewards here okay and this is like what we were talking about here your wishes and prayers have been heard and they're going to be granted here okay and I feel for some of you this is your year this is a year where things are going to start to unfold and you're going to reap what you sow this is the year where you're going to see the results of your hard work okay this is the year where things are going to start happening for you I feel that um, this past year maybe some of you have not been seeing the results that you have wanted um, in your life but I feel this year 2023 there's going to be some massive changes happening in your life in a really good way okay I feel there's lots of blessings coming into your life here and with the queen of pentacles and all the other cards um, in your reading I feel like you're going to see abundance in many forms of your life here I feel especially financially for some of you you're going to feel or receive this independence this financial independence um, coming into your life you're building on that financial freedom here okay and I do see this coming into fruition for you okay you've got the confirmation card here and I feel that a lot of you have to really have faith and believe and trust in the universe that this is going to happen for you okay I feel just looking through a different perspective letting go of things because you are uh, going through a metamorphosis period here you are going through a transition okay you are changing you're changing internally and I feel for some of you you are feeling that some of you may be feeling resistant to it but I feel that if you take it in uh, baby steps and start now and ease into it into the new year things are just gonna roll out it's gonna be like a snowball effect a ripple effect okay things are gonna start moving and you're gonna see the change is starting to happen and this is the bigger picture here my friends you are going to have that beautiful life that you wanted that you desire that you really truly have been visualizing and the universe is letting you know that it is it has heard your prayers you have not been forgotten and 
you know, it is very important Capricorn that you start taking those action steps towards that future because the universe isn't going to just throw it in your face, like in your lap without you putting any kind of action steps towards that. You need to actually put some uh, movements towards these action steps. <clears throat> We're getting the awakening card as well in reverse. So if you were to take a look at it here, you've got this weight that is on this person that's holding them down. But I feel because it is in reverse, this weight, whatever you have been feeling recent, recently has been lifted. This is worries. These are any kind of limiting beliefs, any kind of fears, any kind of resistance. Okay. I feel this is all going to be lifted in your life. And I feel like this is going to happen for a lot of you earlier this year. Okay, whatever it is that you're going through right now, I feel a lot of you are going to have this really lifted off of your back. You're going to have this feeling of lightness on your shoulders. It's like this heavy weight has been uh, this energy, whatever this is, whether it's this feeling of I feel like you've been carrying a lot of emotional baggage, whether it's related to work, family, relationships, whatever this is for you, Capricorn, I feel like this is being lifted here pretty soon in the next couple days to a few weeks, if it already hasn't been lifted. And you're going to feel this lightness. And this lightness is going to open you up to feeling really good. Feeling it's almost like the fog has been lifted and you're almost getting this like clarity in life, a clarity where it is showing you where you actually want to go, what it is that you truly want and how, what action steps, what things you need to do with your life in order to move forward. Okay, I feel there's been a lot of confusion, a lot of obstacles, a lot of struggles, there's been a lot of chaotic energy around you lately. And for some of you, I feel a lot of this is going to be lifted, especially <clears throat> I feel this time of the year for a lot of signs because you're having it's Christmas time. And if I'm not making sense, I apologize. Um, but I'm just getting all of this information here being downloaded <laughs> through spirit guide. So I'm trying to slowly related relay this to you and it comes in really quick and I'm trying not to talk over what I'm getting here so I do feel for a lot of you there's a lot of changes coming into your lives okay I feel for some of you your 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 job situation is going to be changing your money situation is going to be changing relationships are going to change and I feel for a lot of you these are things that you wanted to create in your life for a very long time and with these changes are going to come these, it's a ripple effect. I'm feeling like there's, you're creating this uh, chain of events that are going to happen in the new year for yourself, okay? And that is why spirit guides really want you to have this hope. Um, know that better days are ahead, especially if you've been going through a lot of struggles at this time or any kind of emotional trauma even. Um, just a lot of weight, a lot of stress that's been built up that you've been carrying around with you for quite some time now. Um, that is all going to be released. And I feel for a lot of you, it's going to happen while you're off. Um, if you have holidays coming up or if you don't have holidays and you're having to work through the holidays, I feel for some of you because there's going to be a lot of people off work. There's going to be this release of energy, almost like this calm that is going to come over you. And it's going to give you clarity on a lot of situations in your life, a lot of things that are going on with you. And because you're going, it's it's this awakening, okay? That is what I'm getting here with this card. It's in the cards already. It's like you're getting this new awakening, this new perspective that you're going to be able to see. And then massive changes are coming in. It's almost, you don't have this card in your, in your reading here, but I'm getting the uh, Wheel of Fortune. I feel for some of you in my mind, um, it's like something shifting. There is a shift happening in your life here, Capricorn, in a major way. 
and I feel you're creating the shift on your own. There's a, almost like this realization that is coming through for you and it's unfolding um, naturally, organically. And it's happening because of these chain of events that are kind of happening. There's things happening in your life that you weren't expecting to, um, <clears throat> is what I'm getting here overall with this energy. Okay, so we're also getting nine of pentacles in reverse for you. Okay, so I want to just kind of look at all the cards sitting together to see what the energy here is with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here as I'm doing your reading here for you. All right. I feel... For I'm so lightheaded right now too. I don't know why I'm feeling like this. I feel there's a lot of... Uh, release that is going to happen for some of you and you're going to feel lightheaded that's what it feels like you're this weight being lifted off of your heads um <clears throat> spirit guides want you to know that you have all the tools that you need in order to finish what you have started okay for some of you i feel you are you have started on plans that you have for 2023 okay but there's been some sort of a resistance um, there's, it's almost like this energy of, uh, stagnation or boredom, boredom. And that's, I feel there's a lot of things being lifted because I'm getting, I'm, I'm feeling very lightheaded, almost faintish right now. And I feel for some of you, you've been bogged down with a lot and you've kind of had this energy of this like heavy fog in your, in your mind, with just things that are going on and there's going to be so much more clarity in your life Capricorn for um, this new year and now's the time to start building on that and really focusing in and it's almost like a laser beam um, having a target on a laser on your target like that focus laser focused and to not rush yourself through this process okay to allow yourself to really naturally flow with the energy that the universe is actually the universe is letting you know so your spirit guides are letting you know that they're the ones that are actually lifting this off of you slowly that's why that that uncomfortable feeling is there but I feel that if you just allow yourself to go through the emotions and then release them and then move with that energy and not resist it is what's kind of going on here and with the knight of wands coming into your reading as well i feel for a lot of you there is almost this it's it's like you're being taken out of a place where you were in the dark and your spirit guides are like okay here we are and you're being put in this new place so look at that it's it's this metamorphosis that is happening you're you're being it's almost like you're being reincarnated into this new person if that makes sense i feel like a lot of you are going through this major transformation and you're going to see how things are going to work out better than you had expected them to. There's going to be some major things, major movements happening in your life. Okay, whatever this energy you've had is going to be lifted. Whatever you've been stressing about, whatever this energy of fear, this energy of doubt, this energy of um, stagnation, making you feel like you're almost waiting for something to happen uh you're wanting to know what's coming ahead all of these energies are finally going to come to a place where you're gonna they're gonna be lifted and you're gonna be like holy cow i didn't expect this to be as i was not expecting it to be to happen this way okay things are going to turn out better than you had expected so that's going to bring you energy and it's going to make it's going to make you uh bring this energy of excitement in okay it's almost like you were dreading that there was a circumstance that was going to happen but it's going to be lifted and 
and it's almost like you're going through some sort of a reincarnation okay and things are going to start moving and it it's it's going to change you internally that is what i'm getting here okay overall there's going to be this newfound energy like you're just going to go for stuff and it's this new <clears throat> i don't know i'm going to pull another i'm going to pull our final card here because i feel there's this major change that you're going through okay there's blessings coming into your life i feel like there's opportunities you're going to have job offers here Capricorn there's going to be this uh, opportunity for financial independence for some of you I'm seeing so many beautiful things opening up I feel by summertime there's going to be a lot of things happening in your life in a major way you're going to have job opportunities opportunities to be financially free I'm not saying you're going to be financially free some of you may but I do feel there's opportunity that are going to allow Allow you to be in that direction and move in it pretty quickly okay um, it's like a key you were given a key and you were walking through this dark tunnel and trying to figure out where this key goes and then you finally found the door in the dark and you're trying to get this key in and there's like this fear around you and you can't seem to get the key in this door and then you finally get it in you open it right and you're and then you open this door and this beautiful light shining through oh my gosh i'm getting goosebumps with it so i feel for some of you that are wondering what your life what your love life what your relationships uh job everything there is blessings your spirit guides are letting you know to have that hope start manifesting my friends whatever it is that you do to manifest um, everyone manifests differently okay so figure out what it is where you feel comfortable manifesting I like to visualize where I am how that feels um, I, I like to put myself in that place and feel the emotions that come with the success that I'm going to have in my life okay and I'm in this field of <clears throat> beautiful long grass it's sunny I'm feeling the warmth I'm feeling that warm wind blowing in my hair and I'm like going in circles just standing in this field with my arms wide open and circling with all the sparkles around me that's what I visualize and things start moving that like that and then when I start seeing small things happening and coming into fruition I put my I visualize that feeling of me swirling around in that energy and then it amplifies it's the most interesting way but my daughter says that she writes things down and she writes affirmations for her that works um i have some other friends that have to have um actual pictures of themselves in a place where they want to be so they have to create that you know artwork with themselves um, for example, my brother, he wanted to buy a Corvette, right? So uh, one of his friends had a Corvette who brought it over to his house and he parked it in his driveway. So my brother went and took a picture of himself in the Corvette in his driveway and then had the picture so he can see it every day. And now he owns a Corvette and it's in his driveway, right? So it's just like that. You have to find your own way and visualize that. Visualize it that way, my friends. So we're gonna get the last confirmation card here for you and um, see what message you are getting. The white oak, healing, versatility, and endurance. So take a look at this, my friends. Look at this beautiful tree, all right? And <clears throat> so the white oak, okay, is all about strength. It's about maturing and growing into, all right? It's about something that is going to last, okay? The white oak is a strong tree. It lasts a very, very long time. And I feel for some of you, you are this white oak tree, okay you're going through a healing period right now and allow yourself to heal it's like this na natural process that you are currently going through okay you you have versatility you have an endurance okay you can test you can uh, um 
stand the test of time here for some of you no matter what challenges are coming your way you have the strength to overcome them no matter what you need to push through whatever barriers that are holding you back and just push that freaking brick wall out of your way okay and just move like a boulder like just be this solid oak tree that nothing can stop look at all the roots look at all the beauty look at all the leaves look at all the branches look at the abundance in this tree and I feel this is going to be you Capricorn you're going to be the strong grounded stable white oak okay there's nothing that can bring you down nothing that can stand in your way you're the only one that can make that um, choice to put yourself in this position, okay? So I feel for some of you, now's the time to start uh, looking through a different perspective, letting go of the things that no longer serve you, any bad habits, any old repetitive patterns, okay? If you're in a place where you keep doing the same thing and you're in the same place, it's because you're not changing things in your life, right? You need to start changing those things for those of you that haven't started and those of that you ha that have. Uh, I feel for a lot of you, you are making those changes and to keep doing that, my friends, because you're going to stand the test of time here. You're going to be this white oak, this grand, beautiful, strong, sturdy, stable, um, abundant white oak that is just beautiful and look at the branches look at the leaves it is just it's vitality it's just this beautiful place to be in in life okay it's this healing ground like look at how grounded a white oak is I feel it's, this is going to be you there's nothing that's going to stop you from where you need to be I'm seeing some major financial independence for some of you Capricorns out there so you know in all areas I'm seeing like this abundance of I'm, I'm seeing new relationships coming into your lives as well okay um especially with the white oak all right because the white oak stands the test of time they're there for years and years lots of things come and go but this white oak has seen a lot and they're grounded they're secure they're abundant right every year everything just they, it doesn't matter what the seasons are okay the sand, white oak can stand the test of time and that is going to be you my friends this coming year the year of 2023 the universe is favoring you you have better days ahead have that hope have that faith because the universe has heard your prayers your wishes are going to be granted my friends start taking those action steps start planting those seeds because there's a beautiful life ahead of you believe in yourself trust the universe that things are going to work the way they're meant to for you to be on that path that you're meant to be on so that is my reading for all of you my beautiful friends i hope it resonates if it does please comment below um hit that like button and if you're new to my channel uh subscribe that would be wonderful uh share as well this video if you know any other capricorns um, and they need to hear this message and I'm so happy for you because I feel like this is such a beautiful message and it is just like you just got a beautiful life ahead of you Capricorn so I just want you to know that all right so stay blessed my beautiful friends thank you so much for watching